Alright, so that's that. There might still be more enemies. Might be a guy right here, in fact. Yeah. Ah! Ah! 30 points of damage? Really? 38 points of damage? And I didn't even hit him once. I, like, again, these shotgun ambushes. How do they expect you to... Iron Man through this game? I don't know. That might hit. Nope, that's fine. Uh, I'm getting pretty low. On health. And also getting pretty low on storage space. That is... alright, good. Food. That is a double-barreled shotgun ambush. And there's one more guy, apparently. Nobody can hit him. from that distance. Let me move a little bit closer. Alright. Oh, of course he ducks down. So there's a body there. I'm getting over encumbered. Alright, he's still alive. Okay, five... Okay, we can move... Um, seven pounds to far side. And, uh, let's keep going. Oh, wait. Oh, there's still more enemies, aren't there? Alright, we're not quite done. There might be, like, one more guy somewhere up ahead. Did I loot him? Yeah, alright. Alright, we're gonna loot... This guy. And get encumbered. So... One, two, three... Three... Five... I don't know if that's really enough space. Three... Um... Oh, that... Okay, well, five. So I need to give three to Stein. That's four, isn't it? I need to give three to Stein. And then two... Two to Robin. All right, now we're we completely maxed out basically on encumbrance, but we're, there's still loot, and there's a guy sleeping. All right, I guess we're gonna be over encumbered, and that I believe is the last enemy. So we're gonna have to slow walk our way out of the grid, out of the exit grid. Let me uh, put the stuff on Rebecca then. Alright, I encumbered. Now we check the shelf. Get even more encumbered. Alright. Then we... Do we have to lockpick all of this? I think we do. Uh... Rebecca, you're gonna just keep walking out of the base. And, uh, Robin. Is there really no key? Skill lockpick. Actually, he might have. Probably has weight, whatever he has on him. 
Never mind, he has nothing on him. Uh, Robin... Does nothing, wait a minute, what? Locked? Oh, lockpick is two, alright. Lockpick, unlocked. That. So that rescues them, I believe. Yeah, so now that they just open the doors and they start walking away. Slowly, they start slowly walking away. Uh, everybody else can walk there. Where is okay? Rebecca can keep walking towards the exit grid. Although, if we go this way, actually, maybe we should go the other way. Maybe it's faster to go the other way. So, Rebecca, walk over here, and then Robin. Continue to unlock the doors. And everybody starts running away. Alright, no loot on him. I don't remember if this actually gives you any loot or experience or anything. They just, you just talk to them. And then they just kind of slowly walk away from this place. Alright, there's all of them. Not sure that's worth anything. Rebecca, keep walking towards the exit grid. Uh, walk over here. Everyone else, follow her. Let's see, where is the exit grid? It's all the way there, and the warrior is... Oh, crap. Alright, we're, we're gonna move Rebecca there. Everyone else... I hope the warrior is still there. Some of the bodies, I think if, if you take too long in the mission, the bodies will disappear. Okay, the warrior is still there, good. Except there's still a lot of loot on him that we can't really carry. So what I'm going to do is move Mandy there. And actually I should move everyone else. I'm going to drop all our junk onto Mandy and Rebecca. Alright, Mandy, stand there. Everyone else... Oops. Don't actually stand on the exit grid. Inventory management. Yay! Drop all the junk onto Mandy. Does this stuff have weight? It does. There's no Mandy. Do that. Oh, here's Rebecca. She finally made it. Alright, far sight. Drop everything onto Mandy. Mandy's gonna be immobile, given how much stuff she's carrying. <laughs> this is so tedious. I probably just shouldn't record this, except that we were so close. Right, we're just right at the exit. I, I probably shouldn't be recording this. Just sh slowly shuffling inventory items around. I don't know if anyone else does this when they play this game. Like, does anyone else do this? Does anyone else just make sure to grab every single last bit of loot? So tedious. 
and like wait until we get to the super mutant missions and everybody has big guns and so there's just squad assault weapons and miniguns and everything and everything weighs a ton. Ah, uh, that's got no weight. Oh my goodness. Oh no, I just misclicked. Inventory management. The game, a dynamite spear. It's a dynamite strapped to a spear. So when you poke it at someone, it blows up. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. Alright, and I don't even know if that's enough space. Mandy's completely immobile because she's weighed down with stuff. So like, how much stuff does the warrior have? 500 something. Okay, that's way too much, obviously. How much can I carry? Robin is encumbered. And immobile. Wow, this sucks. Let's give Stein that. Stein is not encumbered by that. Robin is so weak. Give that to Stein. Give that to Stein. Stein is encumbered. Alright, Stein. Walk back here, drop that to Mandy. You can see how this is gonna work, right? I'm just gonna have a train of people carry all this junk back and forth. Alright, what's the heaviest? Landmines. Simon's encumbered. Alright, Simon's gonna come back here. Stein's gonna drop this stuff on Mandy. Oh man. And then when we get back to base, we have to do the same thing again, except to move everything to the quartermaster to sell it. Right? Alright, the far side is gonna move stuff back to Stein. Bullets, rocks, Uzis, and uh, various guns, knives, 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 guns, like a lead glove. Alright, Stein's encumbered again. Stein's gonna come back here. Simon is going to drop stuff to Mandy. Actually, how much weight does Farsight have? We have still too much. No, she still have too much weight. Drop all the guns to Mandy. Give that to Mandy. Give the landmine to Mandy. I, I, I shouldn't record this. Alright, next mission we're not going to record this. At the end when I try to move everything out of the mission again. Wow, look at all this junk. <laughs> look at all this trash that we don't actually want. But it's worth money, and we need to buy power armor at some point in the future. And so if you don't pick all this stuff up, then you're gonna not be able to afford power armor. Alright, well, too many spears. Stein is not encumbered yet, interesting. Let me just go give three of those to Stein. Our side is still a little bit encumbered. Let me give 11 of those to Robin. And then give 2 of those to Robin. Alright, and then we're done. Save the game, <laughs> and that's how you move all the loot out of a mission. You drop everything onto one person until they're completely immobile. Man. Excellent work, warrior. The Beast Lords have been eliminated, and the monsters are no longer under their control. News of our victory has already reached the surrounding towns. The Brotherhood's reputation alone will now have new recruits flocking to our front door. Our scribes were correct on the Beast Lords' relationship with their animal lackeys. 
The Beast Lord's inherent telepathic suggestion is a unique ability. It's acquired through prolonged exposure to an unknown radiation present within Martin's underground caves. Unfortunately, we will not be able to duplicate this feat. The scribes explained that this unique mutation only manifests in humans that have been exposed for at least 20 years. But it is of little matter, since science and discipline will always be victorious over ungodly mutation. These are strange times, warrior. The Deathclaw matriarch spoke to our elders today. It seems that her gratitude is genuine and that she is allowing some of her spawn to remain behind when her brood moves on. These Deathclaw young are to be treated as honorary initiates to the order. Plans are already underway to create a special unit to help assimilate these unusual recruits into our ranks. Personally, I have my misgivings towards these dangerous creatures. I do not believe they should be allowed to fight beside our paladins. However, the elders insist on this. Between you and me, brother, Sometimes I wonder if the old elders were right. Dismissed. Yes. So the Death Claws do join you, and General Barnake continues to be a racist. Alright, let's go back to base. And try not to... wait a minute, don't crash. Crap, did the game crash? Nope, still going, good. Try not to run into too many random encounters on the way back. Come on, please don't, please don't. No, no, we just destroyed the Beast Lords. Why are there so many Beast Lords? We literally just destroyed you. Stop, no, stop. Why are there so many? And then... Okay, come on. C come on. And back. No, go do go in the bunker. All right, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste your time with more inventory management. Let me just go quickly look at the recruits. And uh, oh, look! Look at all these people we can hire. So since the last level, we have. Chef, a small fast. Let me just view these guys. So, like, the stats aren't that amazing. They're really good agility. They have 14 agility, so it's movement, action points, is 12 action points. So, he can, like, hit you four times a turn or something crazy like that. And he's got, like, 102 unarmed and first aid, funny, and sneak. So, they, they sneak and they're fast and they do a lot of melee damage. But, I mean, look at that. It's only 146 hit points. And I like, they're not that good. Shriek has 13 strength and only 7 agility, so that one was fast, this one is strong. Again, 145 points of hit points. They're not, they're not that good. They're interesting, but they're not really that good. Let me just check the new humans. Perception 7. That's not amazing. Deathclaw. So this is Mother herself. 12 strength, 12 endurance, 12 agility, that's kind of amazing. 130 unarmed. So this is actually pretty good. Except again, she's melee and she can't use guns. So... no thanks. Uh, pain is 5 perception, that's not good. Hurt is 5 perception, that's not good. She's a doctor. Malice is 6 perception. She's got, he's got big guns and energy weapons, which is kind of useful later on in the game. Let's see, Dylan, 14 perception. Some of these ghouls have really, really good perception. But they're ghouls and they can't use good armor. So we're gonna ignore them. Boomer is a thrower. 6 perception, she's not very good. 5 perception max, that's not good. Alice, 6 perception, 9 strength, again, not very good. Ed, 3 perception, terrible. So, like, none of these later recruits are any good to us. That kind of sucks. We're going to ignore those guys. And I'm just going to quickly see what new things the Quartermasters has to sell. And then uh, we'll end the video. Let's see. Okay, more metal armor. So everyone's going to wear metal armor. I'm going to, I guess, get two... Well, maybe we don't. We don't really need the expanded lockpick sets because... We've never had any trouble picking locks so far. 
and we will find these in the missions anyway. The only thing you don't really find in missions is armor, so we're going to need to buy those. And I think that's the only thing we buy, yeah. Alright, so we sell them all the junk that we picked up in the last mission and we buy a bit of armor. Alright, I'll do that in between this video and the next, and I'll see you in the next video where we move on to the next bunker and then we have to fight super mutants if I remember correctly. Alright, I'll see you there.